Welcome to St. Peter's Episcopal Church to Jazz Vespers. Sit back, relax, enjoy the beauty of this sacred space as we enjoy beautiful jazz. This evening, we welcome, along with Dan Del Negro on piano, who is both pianist and vocalist tonight, we welcome Nolji Vaz Vazquez, who is with the Air Force um, Band, right? Yeah, he plays for the Air Force Band, and he is here today as our, this is not his first time, he's been here once before, some of you may recognize him. Uh, he is filling in as our bass player today as Reggie and um, Mark and are both uh, on tour, and Star is doing a, a teaching event on the Big Island. So uh, sit back and enjoy Dan and Nalji this evening. you here uh, if you have picked up a bulletin and those of you at home it's in the chat you can just click on that uh, link and it will take you to the bulletin there are responses for the opening sentences and I invite you to join in the bold create in me a clean heart O God and put a new and right spirit within me do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit.
The psalm, again, I invite you to read the parts in bold. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless the divine name. Proclaim the good news of our salvation from day to day. Declare the glory of the Lord among the nations and the wonders of God among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is you, O Lord, who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of your presence, O oh, the power and the splendor of your sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due the divine name. Bring offerings and come into the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before God. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord reigns. The Lord who made the world so firm that it cannot be moved will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord who is coming, who is coming to judge the earth. The Lord will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with truth. Thank you. 
on. When Irish eyes are smiling, today is in fact St. Patrick's Day, and hey. some of you have worn green. How wonderful. Um, St. Patrick's Day, when you think of St. Patrick's Day, what do you think of? Green, probably. Maybe uh, shamrocks, maybe parades. If you lived in one of the cities that have a large uh, Irish population, there are many very um, big popular parades on this day. Uh, maybe corned beef and cabbage. Mm. Probably beer, maybe green beer, right? But there actually is a St. Patrick. It's called St. Patrick's Day because there really was a St. Patrick. Patrick was born actually in Britain, in southwest Britain. He, around 390, so a long time ago, and uh, he was kidnapped at the age of 16 by Irish raiders and taken to Ireland. And by his own account, he, well, he was actually the son of a deacon and a grandson of a priest. So he had, the ch you know, the church life was part of his experience, but he said he really had given no uh, time for God until he experienced that kidnapping and that time of um, uh, being a slave in Ireland. And he turned to God for help during that time. And he ended up becoming, by his own account, a very different person when he was eventually able to escape. I think it was six years that he was enslaved. And he finally was, there are different stories whether he escaped or whether he was um, released. But at any rate, he, he went back to Britain and to England and um, study, decided, announced he was going to study for the priesthood. He became a priest, eventually became a bishop, and was sent as bishop and missionary back to Ireland. And there he um, was very outspoken against slavery. And he also, uh, by the time he had finished his career, had started many churches, many um, monasteries. Um, he had really planted the church in that culture and is, uh, the presence of Christianity in Ireland is, is uh, attributed to his, the work that he did as both a missionary and as a bishop. The change in the tone of the day is really when immigrants came to this country and it became separated from the church and more of a time of partying and revelry uh, as so many know it today. But it does have... Um, historical roots in the church, and St. Patrick, by his own writings, we know many of his life story, much of his life story from his own writings. By his own writing, for him, it was very clear that uh, th what he uh, gained, gleaned from all of this was an awareness that uh, he, ha he had to learn the hard way to trust, to place his trust in God to solely trust in God. And that is the message from the perspective of St. Patrick for this St. Patrick's Day celebration.
I invite you to join in the prayers, uh, the refrain, O oh Lord, hear my prayer that you see printed in your bulletin. One, two, three. to your spirit working within us. Let your love take root so firmly within us that the compassion you bear for us becomes the compassion we bear for others. O oh Lord, there is no God like you in heaven or on earth, keeping covenant in steadfast love with your servants who walk before you with all their heart. Receive these prayers and all that resides unspoken within us. Amen. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Keep these words in your heart. 
Recite them to the next generation. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand, fix them as an emblem on your forehead, and write them on the doorpost of your home. Blessed be God, our creator, redeemer, and sustainer from everlasting to everlasting. wonderful St. Patrick's Day and uh, uh, aloha to all of you and evening yes indeed and we will see you hopefully come again next Thursday six o'clock here at St. Peter's aloha